So the first new reagent that we're going to learn specifically works with acid chlorides. And it turns acid chlorides into aldehydes, okay? This reagent has a really long name, but all it is is it's a sterically hindered version of lithium aluminum hydride. Let me draw it out for you. It actually starts off exactly the same. Li, Al, but then this is where it gets weird. Instead of having four hydrogens, three of those hydrogens are replaced with what we call tert butoxy groups. So then we draw parenthesis, um, so parenthesis, O, T, Bu, 3, H. So as you can see, tert butoxy groups, because I basically have ethers made out of these O, T, butyl groups, and then I have only one hydrogen left over that's actually going to react. The other ones don't. The other groups don't, okay? So this molecule, even though it looks really complicated, it's just going to be a version of lithium aluminum hydride that adds one equivalent. So I'm going to get aldehyde instead. And what I want you guys to draw on this blank up here is just that what's the thing that's making it hindered? Well, that we've got these O T butyl groups times three. We're adding those to the LAH to make it a lot less reactive. Okay? So that's the first one. Unfortunately, you do have to memorize this. You have to memorize how to draw it and what it works with. It specifically works with acid chlorides. Okay? So that's it for that one. Let's move on to the next reagent.